little town, my hometown. It's also where I work, at the Crayon Factory. Completely solar-powered and pollution-free, the Crayon Factory is a wonderful place to be. And that's me. My name's Saturday. I'm a new robot, and I know I have a lot to learn from my friends who work here. But oh, do I love making colors and crayons. This is research and development, my favorite department. It's where they think up all the beautiful colors we make. Mr. Monday is in charge. He's what you call a color expert. After he picks the pigments he needs, that's the color stuff, he mixes them. And sometimes he lets me help. I call this one Periwinkle Blue. Oh! But when I make a mistake, all Mr. Monday ever says is, Try again, Saturday, try again. But not today. research and development, the next step is making the color crayon Mr. Monday created. Oh, I do like this step the best. Mr. Tuesday is in charge here. He mixes the color pigments with the wax according to the exact formula Mr. Monday gives him. Time to rustle me up some colors. Yeah! <laughs> Sometimes, I help. <laughs> Next, the wax is poured into crayon-shaped molds. Mr. Wednesday handles the controls to make sure the wax is poured very carefully. And Mrs. Wednesday makes sure the molds are filled just right. But it doesn't always work out perfectly. Oh, dear. Still, all Mrs. Wednesday says is... Live and learn, Saturday. Live and learn. my very most favorite step, unmolding the crayons and wrapping them. After the crayons are cooled, they're brought here. Ms. Thursday is in charge. She pushes buttons, and each crayon gets exactly the right label. Oh, 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 me, me! What do you know? I did it! You see how exciting making crayons can be? Crayons are sorted and put into boxes. Mr. Friday himself checks every box to make sure each one has all the right colors. Once in a while, guess who he lets help? Saturday, hey, come quickly. Hey, there's trouble. What is it, Mr. Friday? Hey, so many of these are wrong. What's gotten into them upstairs? But Mr. Friday always knows what to do. 
he sends the boxes to the correction department to be fixed. And now you see why I like this area the best of all. Isn't making crayons fun? When the boxes are finished and just right, all children everywhere get new crayons to use. When this factory is in full swing, I tell you, it's music to my ears. was always the happiest place in the world. That is, until Mr. Penn arrived. Why the company that owned the factory sent him to take over, I do not know. He didn't seem to like the place, let alone want to work here. For one thing, Mr. Penn didn't think we needed more colors. He said, we already have too many colors, and they're too bright. And Mr. Yeah. Penn thought the mixing department was too loud. Yeah. And he thought the molds made the crayons too big. He said if the crayons were smaller, he'd make a lot more money. And Mr. Penn didn't think we should have to wrap the crayons. He said... Red is red and blue is blue. That's all these kids have to know. And Mr. Penn didn't see any reason to check the boxes. He said... Kids won't notice if they have two yellow crayons and no red. Take a note. Mr. Friday is too rusty. I only want shiny robots in my factory. Rusty? Me, Rusty? Why, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> Then, one sad day, Mr. Penn had a meeting of all the robots. He said the crayon factory had to cut down on the number of colors it made. We were shocked. Mr. Monday said, You'll ruin the factory. Children need all the crayons for coloring. But Mr. Penn wouldn't listen and said that was that and never the twain shall meet and so forth and so on. Mr. Monday said he and the other robots would not give up, no matter what Mr. Penn said. But later that day, Mr. Friday was replaced by a new robot. In all my memory, and being a robot, I have quite a lot of it. Never had the Crayon Factory been such a sad place. The very next morning, one of the robots from the accounts office showed Mr. Monday an order we had received. It said, send us new crayons, red, blue, and brown, 500 cases for the kids of Newtown. The robot told Mr. Monday that Mr. Penn was sending the order back because we couldn't possibly produce so many cases in time. But the children in Newtown will be so disappointed. I was so worried, but Mr. Monday just said, that's not why he's sending the order back. He just wants to ruin us. That evening, as I was wandering around the factory, I overheard Mr. Penn say that they were going to work all night on a report. We'll show the company how many problems we have. There'll be cutbacks. Mark my words. But neither Mr. Penn nor I had any idea as to what Mr. Monday himself was planning. Mr. Monday was determined that we'd make all those crayons for Newtown and prove how good our crayon factory was. So we worked harder and longer than ever before. We even brought Mr. Friday back to help. We worked all night. The next day was Saturday, the day named for me. The factory was supposed to be closed, but instead, we robots were loading up the trucks. Pretty soon, 
500 cases of crayons were on their way to Newtown. And Mr. Monday took me along for the ride. Newtown looked like a great place, but I wouldn't exactly say it was colorful. Mr. Mary, the toy shop owner, was sure happy to see us. And he was even happier when he opened his first box. Mr. Monday had outdone himself with all these beautiful colors. The children could paint the town. Wow, these are great. Oh, they are so beautiful colors. There were hues and tones of all kinds. The children had every color they could want. And if some didn't use every color, everyone used some. Before long, Newtown was the most colorful town I'd ever seen. The very next week, the head of the company arrived at the crayon factory. Oh. She called a meeting of the entire factory. Everyone was concerned. Mr. Penn began a big presentation and told Miss Pandora that, in his opinion, the crayon factory made too many colors and too many crayons. He said, I recommend that the crayon factory be shut down. We were astonished. For once, none of us moved. Finally, Miss Pandora said, you know, I came today to congratulate you on all of those cases of crayons sold in Newtown. Mr. Penn was shocked. Newtown! He exclaimed. He had no idea that we delivered that order. His recommendation to shut down the very successful crayon factory seemed positively foolish. And so Ms. Pandora finished by saying, We pens may know a lot about business, but apparently we know nothing about crayons. You're fired. And she told us, Mr. Penn is not running the factory anymore. All of you are. We could hardly believe what she said. Yippee! Imagine putting the robots who made the crayons in charge of the factory. What an unusual idea. Once we robots were in charge, we made more crayons more colorfully than ever before. And as always, we worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh, and yes, I, Saturday, got my own job. Crayon checker. Poor me. I get to color all week long. <laughs> what a busy, happy place the crayon factory is. Once again. <laughs> <laughs>